Here on the desktop, I have a folder for this lab. It has a scripts folder and a styles folder. The index page has a style sheet link and a link to the JavaScript. It also has a division with a class of card. Inside that are four empty tags. One for the name of the town, one for the icon with a source and an alt description, one for the weather description, and one for the current temperature. All of these have IDs so that I can talk to them using JavaScript and Query Selector. Later we will grab specific values from the weather JSON file and assign the values to each empty tag. I am going to go live with the index page in my Chrome browser. The first thing I will do is use Query Selector to grab a reference to each of the four items in my current weather card. Notice that in the HTML, all of these have IDs, so I'm using pound in my selector. Next, I will create three variables for my API key called my key, as well as longitude and latitude. I will use the values I copied from Google Maps for the town of Seneca Falls. Watch out for a negative. It's important to keep the negative if Google provided it. Now we can return to Open Weather Maps and grab a sample API call. Let's create a new constant called my URL. Now we can turn this into a template literal with backticks. Let's add a dollar sign here and here and here. Let's change the values inside the curly braces to match our variables. Next, I'm going to change the units from standard to imperial by adding an ampersand and another name value pair of units equals imperial. Finally, I will remove the HTTPS and just leave two forward slashes. Now let's grab the sample code from unit five, consuming a weather API, step number four. Let's change the URL variable to my URL. Save your work and let's see what we have. When I inspect the page and look at the console message, I am getting some errors from other Chrome extensions. To remove these, I will open a new incognito window and use the same local URL. If everything worked correctly, you will have a sweet piece of weather JSON data being displayed as an object. Let's pause and talk about this try block of code and throwing errors down here. I want you to remove the last digit of your API key to make it invalid. Notice when we reload the page, we have an error from Open Weather Maps telling us that the API key we sent was not valid. Now try making the latitude a bunch of nines. When we rerun the script, we are told by Open Weather Maps that the latitude is not a valid number. Do you realize how cool that is? Catching any errors will make debugging code a much easier process. Let's undo the 999 change. Now the fun part begins.